what we're going to do is go over the basics of the Ecutex software. Uh, what we did was launch. Uh, we have a little quick shortcut for it. And uh, in this case, we do not have an interface actually connected. So these two are going to show up as red. So the first thing that we want to do is open up a ROM file. And if we go to our Ecutex folder, you'll see that there's uh, stock ROM files here. We have a whole bunch more than you might see just because of the various platforms that we tune. Uh, however, we'll start off with a, a simple MX5, 06 to 08 file. A really common one that you might see is going to be LFG 2EP. And uh, basically what you're seeing here is the various maps that are available for you to tune with. Now you have to understand that this is all reverse engineered, so not everything is always going to make sense when you actually go ahead and do this. So you do always have to be mindful of what you're doing, just in case uh, some of the maps have unpredictable behavior. But we'll cover some of the common ones in this demo. So typically what you would do is add some race ROM features to it. We'll use the latest one. And this supports the Bluetooth interface. And once we do that, we get a separate tab right here. And these are also viewable under the race ROM mapping here as well. A big thing I recommend for everybody is look at the help files. Uh, there are a whole bunch of shortcuts that you can do uh, that really speed up your workflow with this. And if you're tuning for a bunch of people or if you're just doing it for yourself, a lot of it is very handy. So for example, if we make changes here, we can just control Q and that'll save the map. And then we can go ahead and copy and paste the map as well by doing control Alt C. And then using spacebar to open all these, we can just control Alt V and then control Q to close them. And it'll become substantially quicker when you do that. So once you do install the race ROM patch, what you want to do is make sure that you actually enable the mode switching. In this case, we'll all one, two, three, and four. And then we can go ahead and turn on some of these. Now, if you don't have the full software and you just have the basic software, what you'll end up having is a slightly simplified menu, such as here. And then you can enable things on mode one. And then if you're using the Bluetooth app, you can actually write in the description of the modes in here. So I would typically do launch control, flat foot shift and grab match. And then one other handy shortcut is if you have a bunch of different maps that are open, uh, maybe you just want to close them all down, but without closing the file, what you can do is control alt C while focused on the left side and that'll get it for you. So this is just a, a very basic overview of what the software looks like. We're going to do some more work with this uh, in the coming months and uh, keep an eye out for our channel as we get that going.